So hello, JW's back. I'm starting a covered bridge tour today. My first stop's here at Glimmer Glass Park, just outside of Cooperstown, New York. And uh, we're going to go over and see the uh, Hyde covered bridge first. So I hope you enjoy. Sign says, caution, recent bear activity in this area. <laughs> But uh, here's the ma map of Glimmer Glass Park. Head on over to the uh, head on over to the covered bridge. <coughs> so we're coming up on the bridge here. little bit muddy a little bit of history of the bridge this is the Hyde Hall covered bridge was built in 1825 it's part of the 1817 to 1835 construction of the George Clark County Estate. Let's head on in. It's like a nice bench over there. Arches are pretty cool. Take a look at the other side. Back up to the other side here. side view of the bridge. Creek below. Let me get some pictures and then we'll head on to the next one. So I've arrived at the second location. It's Salisbury Covered Bridge. This one looks pretty awesome. The, uh, well, we'll get out and look at it and I'll show you. As you can see, Betty's making the trip with me today. She's got some new brakes and rotors on her. But let's take a look at this awesome bridge. We're going to go look at, there's a little bit of a falls down there. We're going to go look at that here in a second. But there she is. Let's see if we can't climb over the snow and uh, get a closer look. Well, there's a little side trail here with a bridge. I'm going to try that first.
really icy here. And I don't want to fall in because the creek is very high. So I actually think I'm going to stop right here. We'll take a look down the creek. If it wasn't so icy there, I would have went for it, but... Yeah, this is just amazing. Let's take a look inside here. They do have a stop sign here, so I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, walk inside here or not. See, this has the similar arches as the first bridge. Let's take a look at the roof. That's probably been redone, the tin roof. I don't know if this one's drivable or not. They have, obviously it's closed right now. There is a road that goes through here. As you can see there. But this creek is amazing. Wow. There's five bridges on this tour. I don't know if I'm going to make all five or not. I'll try to do at least one more. I can't really get a side angle on this one. But, uh... Well, let me turn the camera off and I'll give it a shot. Well, I had to put the gimbal away to get over here on the other side, but it's pretty cool over here, getting a side view. Just got my camera in hand, so it might be shaky. But, uh, I took some pictures over here, and, uh, I think I'll, uh, head on out to the next bridge.
Well, before I take off, I just wanted to take a video of these falls. Check out the other side here. I would not want to fall in there. <clears throat> well, I made it to the next bridge. Um, it's real icy up here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fly the drone here. I was able to fly it on the last one. I think it's footage should be pretty good. But uh, let me turn you around here and uh, we'll take a look at it. Well, what I wasn't expecting is these incredible falls to be here. But I wasn't expecting them on the last ones either. These, this is amazing. I heard them right when I got out of the car. I said, there's got to be falls up here. And I don't know if you can see it, but through the woods here is the bridge right there in the center of your screen. So I'm going to hike down there and uh, if I can get down there and uh, show you the bridge. I'm going to have to put the phone away because it's like a pure slate of ice up here. So here's where I'm standing. This little uh, pretty cool little spot here for the benches. And but as you can see that walkway just to get up here was just pure ice. Well, I'm gonna, we'll take one look, last look at the falls here. All right, I'll see you down there if I can get down there. So I was able to make it down. I had to watch literally every step I took, but we're down here at the bridge. is maximum load 10 people 10 adults but that's what I had to go climb up just ice Betty gets the easy job on this one she gets to sit up there and rest but uh let's head on in A little bit more ice here to... There we go. It seems like they've put new roofs on all these. Which is understandable. But the rest of this is looking pretty old and original. This one doesn't have the arches. It's got the old beams. Not sure what these boards are. Historical Society board. With some names on it. But uh we'll take a look out this way first. We got nice little windows here. We'll take a look down at the creek.
Now, this is spectacular down here. And then we'll save the other side for last here. Because I think we'll be able to see the fouls. Oh, yeah. A little bit of sun in the way, but... Looking right out of the covered bridge onto the falls. Just amazing. I'm sure that's why they built this bridge here originally, or at least I would assume. Didn't see a lot of history on this one. Usually they have some kind of board or something, but... Man, that's an amazing view right there. Coming from inside of the bridge. Let's head on out. They got a little uh, area out here, sitting area. Obviously, not drivable anymore. <laughs> kind of just ends right here. Makes you wonder where the road went once upon a time. Maybe it turned over that way alongside the creek, perhaps. There's like a, looks like an old road there. It'd be a sharp turn, but. This is all ice here too. Just frozen snow. Yeah, and there is a walkway that goes out to that. So that's probably the old road right there. I would assume. Nice picnic table down there in the summertime. It'd be a great place to eat lunch. But uh, I'm glad I found these falls. They're amazing. Wasn't expecting them to be here, but this is all. These are all new places for me. So I don't think I'm going to make it to the last two bridges today. But maybe some other time. It's getting late. Um, so uh, I hope, really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we're going to do some more covered bridges in the future for sure. We're going to go up farther into the Adirondacks. Just on the outskirts of the Adirondacks right now. So um, hopefully I can make it back up the hill. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.